But Colin Cowherd, you guys all know him, the thumb that is on FS1. He had this clip, and I wanted to share it with you guys and react to this. He compared Tua Tunga Vailoa to Tim Tebow. So here's the clip right now. People forget the Tebow thing. Tebow won seven straight games. And reasonable people, <laughs> excellent NFL people, lost their collective minds. Tua, similarly, oh my God. goes on a winning streak. Five-game winning streak. <laughs> Ooh, the numbers. Four of the five teams that he beat were ranked 31st, 29th, 27th, and 26th oh in my defense. God. The so-so defense, the Steelers, was middle of the pack. And they scored 16 points. He's kidding, right? But it did make me think if he goes to Buffalo after San Francisco and the Chargers and just completely unravels, <laughs> will this guy who currently leads in like Pro Bowl voting, like Tua pro, yeah, led in jersey big. sales? That's important. Tim Tebow led in jersey sales. Tua leads in Pro Bowl voting. They're not anywhere near the best player. Oh my God. So <laughs> you're going first because I'm going to go parabolic. Yeah, so that's just straight up ridiculous. And then all you have to do is watch football with your eyes. I mean, Colin, how long have you watched football for? Because Tim Tebow, if he was on the Dolphins, would not have this much success. Their team would not be that good. I don't care what receiver he has. Just would not be that good. And it's just so disrespectful. The guy's second year, he's accurate, he's efficient, delivers the ball on time, and played a great game in Buffalo. And then after he has two bad games, you're going to go ahead and compare him to Tim Tebow after a seven-game winning streak last year when they clearly didn't want him and they wanted Deshaun Watson instead of him, who they knew would probably have to sit out for a year. That's just a joke for me, and it's wild that that guy's one of the highest paid sports commentators in the world and then he gets to have one of the laziest dumbest most asinine takes where he's like yeah well uh 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 two uh pro bowl votes and uh uh, uh tim tebow jersey sales like tim tebow jersey sales was just christians buying him because they like that he prayed and then they were like oh he wins games because he prays like Newsflash, there's a lot of Christians in the NFL. There's a lot of guys that pray. Tim Tebow's not the only one. And Tua can actually throw. Tua can actually throw. Tim Tebow's one of the worst throwing quarterbacks in NFL history. I can do it one better, though. Okay. Okay. Do it. Let me go off for a second. Let's compare Tim Tebow to Tua Tungavailoa, okay? Okay. First of all, Tim Tebow, yes, he did win seven straight games. Yes, he went seven and four down the stretch. Do you realize how many points he did put up, though? Each game, they averaged 15 points a game. Let's look at Tim Tebow's stats that year, right? Tim Tebow in those 11 games, 12 touchdowns, six picks, QBR of 72. <laughs> and yes, he was mobile. So let's add the mobile numbers into there as well, right? right? He rushed for 600 yards, six touchdowns. So call it 18 touchdowns to six picks. Okay, that's pretty cool. No big deal. He also had 13 fumbles. So we can add that to that what as well. What the hell? How? Don't even know. <laughs> but let's compare those numbers. So, right, 12 touchdowns, six rushing touchdowns, call it 18 touchdowns and six interceptions. Well, let's take a look at Tua's numbers this Wait, year. You said he had six interceptions and 12 fumbles? 13. 13 fumbles. So he had more turnovers than touchdowns. Yes. Okay. And he had a QBR of 72. Let's take a look at some of the games that Tua has played this season, right? So, Tua's numbers just this year is in 12 games. So, same number of games, by the way. He had. 24 touchdowns to five interceptions, QBR of 107. Listen, I understand that Tua cannot throw 60-yard bombs like Justin Herbert can, like Joe Burrow can, like Patrick Mahomes can, like Josh Allen can. I understand that. But he is not Tim Tebow. <laughs> no. No. Yes, he can't throw these number, these balls. But you know what he can do? He could throw more than 10 yards down the field. Yeah. And I understand he's not as athletic as these other guys, but to compare him to one of the worst quarterbacks in NFL history is absolutely ridiculous. Shame on you, Colin Cowherd. How dare you compare him to one of the worst quarter, one of the biggest draft busts of the last decade. Yeah. Christian boy. You're like, oh, well, he leads in jersey sales as well. He leads in jersey sales because people like him right. because he's a part of one of the best teams in the NFL. Tua, Dolphins. Oh, people like the Dolphins. <laughs> and Tim Tebow, he sold because of 
the Florida Gators. He yeah. was one of the best college football players of all time. That's why Tim Tebow led in jersey sales. They didn't lead in jersey sales because he was a great quarterback. Everybody secretly knew down, deep down, that Tim Tebow was terrible. Yeah. They had one of the best defenses. And why do I know this? Because Tim Tebow... After this year, you know what they went out and did? They saw Peyton Manning available, and they went ahead and fucking signed Peyton Manning. And what did they do after that? 55 touchdowns <laughs> to show the amount of talent. Tim Tebow had 12 touchdowns. Call it 18 with rushing yards. 18 touchdowns. Peyton Manning takes over. 55 touchdowns, which, by the way, <laughs> is an NFL record. So don't even fucking compare Tim Tebow to Tua Tungavailoa. Shame on you, coward. I don't understand this because going into the draft, he loved Tua. He loved him. He thought he was better than Justin Herbert. And that was the same year as Joe Burrow. He was a big Joe Burrow and a big Tua fan. Didn't talk about Herbert much. Now, all of a sudden, because Tua is successful, you're going to slander him like this? Shame on you. He yeah. leads in Pro Bowl votes because he has some of the best numbers of the season. He's been efficient and he's leading a really great team. I can't get over this fucking take. This take blows my mind to me. Don't ever put Tua and Tim Tebow in the same conversation ever again. You want to put Zach Wilson in the conversation? By all means. <laughs> you want to put Jamarcus Russell in the same conversation as Tim Tebow? By all means. Baker Mayfield. I don't care. <laughs> Do not compare somebody who was leading in the Pro Bowl votes, who has 24 touchdowns, who at one point was leading the league in passing yards. Do not compare that man to Tim Tebow. If Tim Tebow was on this Dolphins team, this team would not be in the fucking playoffs. <laughs> yeah, no. That's embarrassing. But let's move on to the other games. I mean, yeah. Tim Tebow could not get the ball to Tyreek Hill. Tim Tebow couldn't get the ball to Raheem Mozart on this team. It's embarrassing. 